This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, there's not much interesting going on today, but Nicki Minaj's arrest wasn't racially motivated, Dutch police insist. What she was guilty of is being a celebrity and thinking that she's above the law. That's all it was. And, you know, unfortunately, either her or one of her entourage had some pre-rolls. You're not allowed to leave. I I think it'll all get worked out with a fine or something. But if I were her, like, I'm, I think... I think she's doing the right thing by not going back to that country because it seems like they're really thirsty to try to get in the headlines and oh we're gonna lock up a celebrity you know it just feels like that so I think she did the right move it happens it happens to everybody man I mean it happens to people especially if you're a celebrity you're gonna be a target sometimes sometimes you're gonna get the the red carpet treatment sometimes you're gonna get the harsh treatment because people want to make you know, the headlines and stuff like that. Rick Ross is having his car show today. It's rumored that Jay-Z is going to perform there. I doubt it, but it's possible. It's possible because he does have a relationship with Jay-Z. I just think uh, may maybe, maybe he'll fly in, in a helicopter and fly out. Maybe, maybe it'll be quick like that. Anyways, uh, looks dope. I mean, Rick Ross makes a lot of money off this car show. He gets a lot of people coming through. He has a little concert there. I'm impressed, man, because it's like, what a way to make use of your property and turn it into like a a fairground, you know, almost like a fairground, you know? I think in one picture he even had a a horse. Look at look at how many people go to this thing. This is awesome. This is pretty cool. People are shooting music videos at the property. I mean this guy look at look at his look at his hedges. He has a bear hedge. I mean he puts a lot of money into this property. He spends he probably spends half a million to a million dollars a year maintaining this property i mean everything looks so pristine and it's huge he has a horse eating hay out of a ferrari engine <laughs> that's hilarious so boosie's performing and bun b's performing and mystery jay-z maybe be performing i don't know kodak black shows that he already fixed his car after his baby mom shattered the windshield because she caught him with another baby mom right Hey, it is what it is. I mean, you just call what? What is it? Uh, what's that company called? The the shield repair. Uh, was it windshield? <laughs> shield repair. I haven't seen their commercials in a while, but they used to go on all the time. What's it called? Uh, Safe Light. Safe Light repair. Safe Light replace. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Oh uh, yeah. All right. So then you got uh, but with a, you really don't want to do that with a Benz or something like that because I don't know. There's, you know, these foreign like, I haven't had it done on my car, but like they always tell you not to do it through Safe Light because it's done a certain. You know, their windshields are different. I don't know if it's a gimmick or not. Uh, Gunna goes to Patriots training camp, which is pretty cool. Okay, and then Drake. For the first time in a decade, there are no Drake songs or features inside the top 20 most streamed rap songs. Now, we'll get to that in a second. YG. Now, I saw YG. I'm sorry, sorry. I saw a uh, Rich Homie Quan interview, and people were, you know, the question is, why doesn't Jeezy and Yo Gotti reach back and help? They owe you owe they owe you because you gave them hit records. Okay, so Rich Homie Kwan was on his rise. Jeezy doing a song with Rich Homie Kwan and Yo Gotti doing a song with Rich Homie Kwan at that time solidified Rich Homie Kwan. Like, oh, he is in the game, you know? When he did I Know Yo Gotti, yeah, it's showing your talent off. It's giving you a, more of a fan base. I would never look at it as you owe this person. Now, if you wrote the whole song and everything, that's different. But if they call you in to do the hook, that's different. And Rich Homie Kwan showed that he was special on those records. And, you know, you want to see them continue to work together, but it doesn't mean they owe him something, you know? The person that owes him something is Fly, because he started that the, the label with Fly, you know? I think it's a game, you know, but... I think Yogati did. He said Yogati offered to sign him, and he declined. But you know, he did reach out. Waka Flaka says, "Just got the news: new White Chicks movie. Happy birthday to me, 38." Ah, uh, I don't think Waka Flaka's 38. I think he's 40. To be honest with you, I remember 
Me and him had like a year difference. He's one year younger than me. So I don't know how these guys be changing their their ages, but hey, I get it. It's scary getting older. <laughs> it is. You're getting closer to the end. Um, Finesse is really focused on... You know what? He must really be mentally going through something because he's really focused on showing his weight loss journey. And I get it. I've been there. It does bring you back to... It br brings your uh, confidence back. So, you know, salute to him. Even though he's corny as whatever, you know, but like still... I do, I do respect it. Uh, Jake Paul says, Mom doesn't want me to knock you out. Loser has to change their name. Paul versus Paul. I don't think that's going to happen. Logan Paul said, So Mike Tyson's out. I'll step in so we can settle this once and for all. Mel B's ex-husband, Stephen Balafonte, sues Singer for $5 million in defamation lawsuit. This has been going on for like seven years, eight years, right? It's crazy. Waka Flecka says that man pulled a fire on him at a gas station. That's scary. Oh, I'm glad he's okay. Fat Joe promoting college. What colleges do is they take famous people and they give them BS degrees that you can do nothing with. They gave him a doctorate for nothing, an honorary degree. Just so you come to this, you come for free and you speak, you know? You really got tricked into going to promote the college for free. <laughs> oh, man, won't we people ever learn? I would charge them to give me an honorary degree because they know it's going to be in the headlines. It's going to promote their college and people to go to their college. Nah, man, you should get paid for that. And Sexy Red only sells 28000 the first week. That's very low for, for the amount of exposure she has with Drake songs and everything. I think the sexy red train it shows that it this shows the decline that you're gonna see her more because the label is gonna push her more gamma which drake obviously has an interest in with larry jackson um uh, larry jackson from apple they're pushing this and you're gonna see it more it doesn't mean people are gonna buy it more it just means that okay she's still relevant right now i would say by the end of the year It'll die off a lot, which is fine with me. <laughs> She's she she turned her fifteen minutes into fifteen hours. Got to got to commend her on that. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Peace.